Ahoy there. So we went through our footage of the Stony Creek brew house there in Seward that our friends the Haases own. While it is really cool, tasting room isn't up and running yet, but this gives us a reason to go back to Seward and pick up more of their beer because I got to tell you, they make good beer. I mean, really good beer. Cue the intro. So as Larry said, the Stony Creek Brew House tasting room is not up and running quite yet. So this is actually on tap down in Cook Creek. Go check out their social media platforms at Instagram and Facebook to follow up on their newest beer of the season. You can also go and visit Seward and go to the many bars or restaurants that have their beer. Since we couldn't do an official brewery tour this trip, we wanted to be sure to say thank you to the Haases for all their hospitality. It's always fun to catch up with some of our Kodiak family. After a fun visit, we headed up to Anchorage and then on to Wasilla. There's definitely some frost thieves. Of course, it wouldn't be Alaska if there were. Here we are coming up to Lower Summit Lake, and you know what? It is so beautiful up here, we got to pull over and take a closer look.
Now I know that can throw you off because we're up here on top of this mountain pass. Even though it looks like winter, well, that's more of an altitude thing. This is actually kind of in the springtime. So welcome to spring on a mountain pass in Alaska. Looks like somebody's going to hope. Lucky them. Now this is the Turnigan Pass area. I don't know if you recall in one of our previous videos, the snow was a lot deeper. As you can see, there are a lot of really good wide and long turnout areas, including some passing lanes, both going up and down the hills. So perfect when you're in a bigger rig like ours. Now we're heading down the hill and we'll be at Turnigan Arm pretty soon. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but this bridge is really rough. We had to really slow down. Unfortunately, they have not gotten to fix the bridges down here yet, but they have done a fantastic job on the road itself and adding more parking because there is a lot of people that come down here to fish. Here you can see some of the mud flats that are out in the Turnigan Arm. There are several warnings to make sure you do not go out on the mud flats at low tide. They're made of glacial silt and water, which can create a dangerous quicksand. Here we're coming up on Beluga Point where it's a great place to stop and take some pictures and also keep an eye out for some beluga whales and maybe even catch the boar tide. Now we are just south of Anchorage and coming up on the right will be Potter Marsh, also known as the Anchorage Coastal Wildlife Refuge, which is a great place to stop and take a walk and see wildlife and a very popular spot for bird watching. Where you can see anything from Arctic terns, Canada geese, 
trumpeter swans, gulls, and many, many other small birds. You might even catch a muskrat, fox, or some other small animals. Be sure to bring your binoculars. There are over 564 acres of marsh. As we continue on northbound heading to Wasilla to see our friends Russ and Mona, next week's video we'll be back in Kodiak and we'll show you Larry's new truck bed camper and how that turned out. Thanks again for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. See you next week.